Haley, like, is it album time, question mark? It's my favorite time of year, where love feels more dear, and the meaning is clear, the meaning is clear, the magic is here. Hello my friends, welcome back to Vlogmas. I am finally vlogging again and today is a Saturday. It's Saturday, December 16th and I am about to settle in for a Dream Away workshop. I am still a little bit sniffly but I slept in so late. I slept until almost 10 and I honestly feel like I would have kept sleeping if I didn't have this workshop today because I wanted to like make sure I was like up and having my coffee. Hold on, I wanna put on my cute new headband. Dream Away, if you guys are unfamiliar, but I know a lot of you guys are in Dream Away, is my subscription community where we do all these monthly tapping videos and visualizations. It is my heart and my soul. I love it so much. I honestly feel like I don't talk about it as much as I should because to me it's like second nature. Like I've been doing it since 2021. That's where I put like so much of my focus this year. So essentially in the higher self tier, which is only $77 a month, you get all these all these things like a one hour money date where you're tapping on money and like abundance stuff for an hour and then a vault of all these resources of all the past money dates but we also basically have dreamway slingshot sessions so 90 minute tapping sessions every single month that we do live and that's what i'm doing today and then of course the vault of all of the past 90 minute tapping sessions so there's so much in there i use the resources all the time and today we have turning the energy waves, releasing the chase, and increasing magnetism because this month in Dreamaway is called I Don't Chase Anymore Month, which is kind of like a twist on my song anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to use like some of my song lyrics in Dreamaway to come up with like the themes for the month. So this is gonna be such a good one. A lot of my friends are actually coming, which is so special. I just feel really grateful that I, first of all, that I have such supportive friends, but that they like genuinely wanna come rewire and like change their lives through this content because it's just so fun to be hosting a Zoom and to see like all of my favorite Dream Away people, new faces, and then also my friends who like take time out on a Saturday to come and like heal and release. And even though I'm leading the session, so I'm not really thinking about things for my life, I just start to feel so different just tapping with everybody and feeling the energy shift. So I just really love and cherish these 90 minute workshops. And of course the money dates too, but like 90 minutes you really get into it. I'm just gonna make sure I'm as ready as can be. I have 16 minutes till it starts. So let's get all set up. That was so good. I look crazy because I was like tapping off all of my makeup, but I'm gonna upload this and let me just show you the vault. Like this is crazy. This is behind the scenes of the vault. So we have all of these work. These are just the 90 minute workshops ever since July, 2021. Okay. Look at all of these. Like, are we kidding? And obviously we're going, growing it every single month. So I'm gonna add a whole new module for this one. So excited. Okay, all uploaded and a lot of that workshops like main themes were around like how important it is to have fun, relax, rest, like to move into receiving energy. And I'm still just a little bit sniffly. So I'm gonna make myself an emergency. I'm gonna tuck into bed. I'm probably not gonna nap because I had a coffee, but I'm just gonna watch a TV show and just snuggle for a second. What is going on with my makeup? Like I clearly just need a rest, a resty moment. It's gonna be so good. Praise emergency and praise doing what you know you need to do and know you want to do in a given moment. Ankita literally gave me these sweatpants last night. They're from Aritzia. They're so soft. In love with them. I can't believe she gave them to me because I was like admiring them. Um, but she had two of them, so she let me have a pair. And then I'm wearing a cute Pura Vida Miami sweater. Sweatshirt. I'm I'm obsessed with Pura Vida. I'm so excited to go back to Miami. I'm actually gonna go for New Year's to start out the new year there. I love being in New York City right now, but I mean Miami Haley is a different Haley. I'm gonna have to vlog at least a little while I'm there so you guys can like see the vibe and see why I love it so much. Um, but Pura Vida, I go, it's a restaurant in Miami if you guys aren't familiar. They have a ton of them. It's like a big chain out there, but like the best chain, the best ingredients, 
oh my gosh if there was a pure vita in new york city i would order from there twice a day every single day that's not even an exaggeration so i had to be the girl who got who got the sweatshirt the question is i'm heating up my little bed buddies so i have my warmth thing if you guys remember from my nighttime routine love that on my feet when i'm chilling in bed love the warmth I'm almost done with Gilmore Girls. This has been like my seventh watch through of the whole thing ever, maybe eighth. And I always get so emotional at the end, like the last few episodes. And I just don't feel like I'm ready for that <laughs> on an emotional, mental level, any of the above. So I am trying to figure out what I'm going to watch instead. I kind of want to watch. I'm not, in, I'm not even like a Garth Brooks fan. I've never listened to his music, but I've heard that his um, Netflix documentary is good about the music industry. It's called The Road I'm On. So I feel like I might check that out. It's a docu-series, two-part docu-series. And I kind of want to like focus on watching things that are either comforting to me or inspiring to me in some way. Like every time I watch like the Taylor Swift documentary, it's like super, super inspiring to me. Or if I watch like on Gaia, so let me know what you guys watch that brings you comfort or inspires you because I feel like it's better for me to watch that. Just noticing how I feel and I really love to just feel like super, oh my gosh, I'm looking at this and there's 333 votes about the road I'm on. The 333 votes, I don't. I think that's Fred telling me I should watch it. Okay, clearly I'm actually not meant to watch it because I have checked Netflix, Apple TV, and now Hulu and I can't find it. <gasps> Wait, I just found it! perfect example of what happens if you just relax if you relax and you give up you will find it okay okay Whew. let's let's watch this <laughs> gotta get chester he would have been so offended if i had a movie day without him the hardest times in your life to challenge yourself music is behind you think again okay i watched like an hour of it it was very interesting. I really, really liked it. What, what a man, what a man. I am going to take a quick little nap. I'm sleepy. And then wake up, film some TikToks, and go to dinner with Liz. Good morning. Not good morning, obviously, because it's afternoon. I napped for 30 delicious minutes. I'm about to do the Joe Dispenza meditation. So something that Ankita and I talked about last night was holding each other accountable to do these meditations. Hold on, let me turn on the Christmas tree. I haven't even turned it on today. We have to do the Joe Dispenza meditation because it like changes both of our lives so much when we do it. And we're doing it for 30 days straight. Have you guys heard me say this before? LOL. But this time we're being like drill sergeants about it. And if one of us doesn't do it on one day, we have to Venmo the other person $200, which is like, nobody wants to do that, right? Like, it's obviously set with the intention to just do it and not have to Venmo the $200. Anyways, I woke up late this morning and I had the Dream Away workshop, so she got hers done this morning and I haven't done mine yet. And usually I'd be like, oh, I didn't do it this morning, so I'm not going to do it. No, no more of that. I'm gonna do this. It's it's time to change my life, especially with the new, the new year afoot. Let's do this. <laughs> that was like the worst meditation ever. <laughs> I like could not get into the emotion, and I know I just have to like trust because some days are gonna be better than others, and I'm just gonna you know try again in the morning. I think it is better to do it in the morning because then I'm like more clear energetically. But I am going to use my cute little note card set. What I got from Anthropology yesterday. And write Liz a little Christmas card since we have our little Christmas dinner celebration tonight. So let's do this. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand And watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is Good morning, my friends! Happy Sunday! I had such a good morning journaling. I'm obsessed with journaling, I swear. It's like the most therapeutic thing. I journal for like 30 to 45 minutes because I'm filling up three massive pages with a stream of consciousness and it ends up being really long, but I feel like I don't really spend that much time like with myself, by myself, like just processing things and processing thoughts. And so I just feel like it's such an act of self-love. And then I just did the Dream Away Oracle reading that we do every single Sunday and it was so juicy as per usual. And now I'm off to the studio. 
I ordered, this is for the garage guys because my car is parked in a parking garage downstairs and the garage guys are so nice. So I'm gonna give them holiday gifts too, but I just ordered them these Krispy Kreme donuts that are elf themed. So look how cute it's Buddy. The spaghetti with like the candy on it. Santa, I know him. Oh my God, they smell so good. Obviously like Santa donuts. So I'm excited to give that to them and go be a little Christmas elf. On my way to the studio, and I think this might be like one of my last times in the studio for this year, which is, I'm like, ah, I'm not ready for that. But um, lots to do, lots to do. Yesterday I wrote out all of my songs that I have written and like actually recorded in the studio. They're not like produced or anything. Um, and there's so many, literally look at how many there are that I wrote out. These are just the ones that like I have audio files for. I obviously have written so many other songs that I haven't even taken into the studio or recorded. Whew. So I'm like, Haley, like, is it album time, question mark? My main priority is finishing up and uploading my next single, which is called The Snow. I keep thinking that one's done, and then I always want to, like, add something or edit something, and so I've kept pushing it off. Like, I thought it was going to come out this week, and now, obviously, that's way too soon. So I'm going with a major mission, and then there's, like, a million other songs we can work on, so I'm excited to see where the day takes us. I just realized I have not listened to Cruise Control, like the version that's now out, in my car. The last time I was in my car was two days before Cruise Control came out, which is crazy. I Ubered to the studio last time because um, of like parking stuff. So I'm like blasting this song. Wow, feels so good. Especially be blasting it like in my car. Cruise Control, baby. So perfect. Ethan got to the studio before me. He mastered the song a little bit to fix the volume of some things and he sent it to me and he's like give it a car listen and I love listening in the car because the speakers are like you can really hear like what the song's gonna sound like um and it's sounding so good I feel like we just need to do like 30 minutes I'm not a perfectionist by any means like with my music um but obviously I want a song to be like as good as possible and to make it like really tug at heartstrings I just have one little fix I want to make also there's like this crazy storm warning like even when I was driving over here there was a big sign on the bridge that said like avoid unnecessary travel like it's gonna be rent rent wind and rain <laughs> good thing i'm only staying for four hours i'm like what could this be like this drama thing never forget during vlogmas 2020 when i i was with rachel and we drove through that bomb cyclone if you guys have not watched that i think it's day seven of 2020 vlogmas it is the funniest vlogmas video or vlog or any video for that matter that i've ever done <laughs> gonna be stuck <laughs> Hopefully today doesn't have the same amount of drama. There are definitely stormy, ominous vibes. Ah! Maybe. Ooh, I like it. Mm, yeah, like a little mm -hmm. transition. What if you just do it's, one? Yeah. <laughs> wow, he is always thinking. <laughs> That's incredible. Were you thinking about that the whole way up to get the blank sheet? <laughs> yeah. I am very excited though about the blind I'm so glad I got that on camera. That like shows your commitment <laughs> to the craft. I got an iced latte ooh. with oat milk and peppermint. Ooh, ooh. ooh. That sounds great. I know. You should have gotten peppermint. This is the season. It is. I am heading upstairs to grab our second coffee order. We actually didn't order from Bling Street this time. We ordered from Jack's Stir Brew and I just got a plain coffee. I only have like an hour left in the studio, but Ethan's like doing his thing. He's really adding some magic to um, a song I wrote called Red Ink. I wrote it probably like a month and a half ago. It's one of my favorite songs ever, ever, ever. And I just felt really called to work on it today. And it's going so well. I smell rain, I smell rain. Anyways, there's a lot of times in the studio where I feel like I'm just sitting there listening to the genius Ethan adds and then every now and then I'll hear something in my head or I'll speak up and I'll be like, oh, that sounds really good or mm, not so much that or ooh, maybe right here we should do this. Like if he's playing piano, I'll be like, hey, can I can I like try something and I'll add some things in. So it's kind of one of those days, which is very important, a very important part of the process. I'm excited to show you guys this one. It's a hard sticker. Mm. I'm home. I 
I ordered another sandwich from Friedman's. I keep ordering from Friedman's like every day. They're probably like, who is this girl? She's our number one customer. But I love Friedman's because if you're in New York, you have to know this. They do, okay, I don't. I just pulled out this and I was like, what is this sauce? Did I get the wrong order? Everything's fine. They can do like everything gluten-free. And so it's so crazy, but they can literally do a gluten-free fried chicken sandwich. So I'm going to eat this, yummy, and watch One Tree Hill. I've been trying to get into the show and it's actually really good. Have you guys watched it? I'm liking it. And then get some work done. I have a mastermind call tonight from 7.30 to 8.30. I wanna upload the snow and I wanna get some TikToks done. I'm feeling like I have high energy levels to have like a super productive night. Woo! Okay, what a productive evening. The mastermind call was so good as always. And I filmed a little tiki talk right now that I'm posting on Instagram. I filmed a video of um, sharing my new song, The Snow, part of it. I uploaded the snow <laughs> for it to come out. I uploaded Vlogmas. I wanna just like create more space for songwriting today because I didn't write a song today in the studio. We were just working on production. I just wanna see if something comes to me. So I'll post this and then, and then let's sit down at the piano, shall we? Do any Taylor Swift fans recognize this? I always like end up accidentally playing these chords and I'm like, oops. Any Taylor Swift fans? Okay, I messed it up. But do you know it from that first part? I ordered some gluten-free desserts from this place called Posh Pop Bake Shop. I've been ordering the like, gluten-free funnel cake from them like literally like three in the past week because it's so good. I hadn't had a funnel cake in so long because obviously gluten-free. And then Ankita found this place. And anyways, I just ordered three new desserts from them. I had never tried them before. I got a Funfetti cake slice, fried Oreos. All of these are gluten-free by the way. And then I think I got a cookie. I can't remember, but I'm really excited. Anyways, to show you the behind the scenes of trying to write a song, obviously I don't know what's gonna happen here. This might not turn into anything. This could be my next big hit. <laughs> Let's get to think positive. I'm playing around and I'm finding something that makes me feel things. So I'll transpose the keyboard. I'll play around with different like keys and I'm just trying to find like the basic feel of something. And then once I find it, I just keep playing it. Ugh. Nothing was really coming as I was trying to sing. I will say too, um, sometimes I'll, I'll have like a concept in my head, like I'll have one lyric that was kind of swimming around in there before, just a concept and so I'll start to like play it out and see. I swear, I've said this before, like writing a song sometimes feels like it's catching a firefly. Like some people will say there's like a strategy to writing a song, but for me, I've just noticed time and time again, like it has to hit me, it has to be something I'm really feeling in the moment that's unfolding. But I never ever think any time is wasted because I love what I was just coming up with on the piano and tomorrow morning i could play that back or listen to what i recorded on my phone i have so many voice memos i've got like literally like almost 500 voice memos on my phone of like songs i've written and stuff and like even fragments of you know songs that are now out but like their original their original glory when i was first coming up with them and i can listen back and have it all hit me and come to me in like a moment's notice so i never get upset anyways let's open up some desserts and let's see I'll end this vlog by doing a taste test. What is this? Oh, I got a brownie. Gluten-free fried Oreos. What better way to end a vlog? Oh my God, I'm drooling. Holy cow, with powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the single greatest thing I've ever tasted in my entire Oh my god! What do I do? I'm literally speechless. No, I don't think you guys understand that. This is the greatest thing I have ever tasted in my entire life. Posh Pop Big Shop, New York City. I am a changed woman. I am literally a changed woman. Okay, I'm glad I got that on camera, so I'll never forget. Me and my friend Oreos, good night. <laughs> Christmas Eve with not even one yawn. I take his hand as we skate through Wonderland.